Am I the a-hole stories? Am I the a-hole for not letting my dad let his new wife's kid call me sister? My, 24 female, mom died of cancer 3 months ago, and my dad informed me and my 5 younger siblings, 12, 14, 16, 20 and 22, that he had a serious girlfriend 2 months later. She met the kids a week after that and they got married that day, moving her and her two kids into my childhood home the day she met the kids, ceremony was two days later. My dad then declared that all my siblings should call her mom, or they are dishonoring my mom's memory. When I told him, I'm happy for you, but she isn't our mom, he threatened to disown me. I was pissed about everything, and told him that I wouldn't show up to the wedding or be polite, unless he accepted that they aren't my family and I won't treat them like they are. He said sure. Anyways, I have always visited my siblings from college for a day on the weekend every two weeks. I decided for stability of the kids I would keep doing it. Even now, it freaking tears me apart to hear my beloved siblings that I raised call this woman mom, only weeks after our mom we love so much died, again, she doesn't even have a headstone yet. When I go back, I have been just straight up ignoring his new wife and going about my thing with the kids. If I talk to her, honestly, I would claw her face off so it's the best option honestly. However today, my dad is taking all of them to Florida to meet her parents, who she was living with at 50 in their house, not as a caretaker, and I was still in the house due to it being one of the weekend days I'm there, and they left super early so I'm locking up. I hug all my siblings goodbye after packing the car for them, and my dad turns to her kids, 14 and 16, and says hug your sister goodbye, and I straight up said, I'm not their sister, but I will hug them anyways, and he got all mad and said thank you for pointing that out and his second wife was like can I get a hug, and I told her I would rather not lol. Anyways, my dad is pissed at me for not letting him slide oh happy sibling time on me, with these strangers I've known for 4 weeks. Am I the a-hole here? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. I can't express my actual feelings without my comments getting me banned. However, I strongly suspect that your father came to terms with your mom's condition before she died, and find the nearest person he could find to help raise your siblings. I think it's utterly disrespectful to insist slash demand slash otherwise coerce your siblings to call her mom. She had to earn that title. DM them to me? I need support right now. My siblings literally did everything on their own, to the point I can tell his new wife feels insecure because we literally don't need her, so it's not the raising thing. It is so disrespectful, and hurts so much each time they say it. It's like they are betraying me and our mom for someone they just met just, because my dad told them to. Not the a-hole. What the hell did I just read? Were your parents together at the time of death? I would ask why it's so important to them for you guys to call her mom two days after meeting her, and two months after your actual mom died? She already has two kids so I just don't understand. Dad and this bad of a woman are the a-holes for trying to replace your mom after her death especially when it just happened. This whole situation creeps me the hell out. Keep your eyes open. I don't know for what, but something's not right. Edit, after reading your replies, your dad is a freaking nut job, and you need to get your siblings out and cut contact. Yes, they were married until the end, my mom's last words were I love you to him. And yeah, it's bloody not okay the call her mom thing. Not the a-hole, you dad moved on super fast. Very suspicious. Yeah, I also have the same feeling that he cheated on his ex-wife. Not the a-hole. The next story is titled. Am I the a-hole for saying I won't forgive my stepmother for how she acted at my mom's funeral? I, 22 female, lost my mom when I was 12. My parents had been divorced since I was a baby and my dad remarried when I was little. My mom and stepmother did not have a good relationship and my stepmother didn't like my maternal side of the family in general. So when my mom died. It was the most awful time of my life and I requested that my stepmother not show up. But she told me she was going whether she was wanted there or not. Which is what she did, and then she ended up making the funeral so much harder and made a scene. She started off really bad by trying to get into my grandparents house pre-funeral when she wasn't invited or wanted. When it came to the actual service, my grandparents didn't want her sitting with the family, and she went nuts saying she was my family and going to sit with me. I told her I didn't want her there which didn't matter either. They basically came up with the idea to get extended family and close friends in the seats so she couldn't sit there, and then she tried to pull me back with her which I just ignored. She was then really petty, because nobody except my close family was allowed at the burial, and she wanted to stop me from going if she couldn't be there. 
my grandma had to tell her to stop making it about her being there for everything, and that she wasn't part of it. When I went home, then she witched about how she was treated, and I told her she should have known her place and known that my mom's funeral wasn't hers, which pissed her off big time. But at that point, she had done the unforgivable and made my mom's funeral even harder than it needed to be. It has come up over the years because I just never had the same relationship with her after that, and she didn't like it. She thought it was bad I was treating her like she had done something wrong when in her opinion she had acted reasonably. The last time it came up, was because she was going through a tough time and asked me for help, and when I said no, she told me it wasn't fair to hold the grudge against her for a decade. Which is when I told her that what she did was unforgivable to me, and that I wasn't going to get past it, and nothing she could say or do anymore would change it because it followed by a decade of her believing she did nothing wrong. She thinks I'm being too harsh and taking my mom's death out on her. My dad thinks that while she didn't do things right, I should move on and let it go. But as I pointed out to him, he respected me not wanting him at the funeral, because as much as I love my dad, he and my mom never got along, and I just felt like people who didn't like the deceased really didn't need to be at their funeral. And I had a whole extended family there. So the fact she went when my dad didn't, made it even worse. I need to ask the question though, am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Definitely not the a-hole. She was not wanted and explicitly asked not to come. Instead, she came and created a scene. And she came without your dad, what on earth was she thinking? Part of me wonders if it was meant to be a screw you to my family since she didn't like them. That and her way of trying to tell the world she was my mom too, and was there despite the bad blood. Next time your stepmom whines about how you treat her poorly, let her know where you learned to act like that, from your stepmom at your mom's funeral. Oh so not the a-hole. Why would you desperately want to go to a funeral of someone you don't get on with? Drama is the only reason I can think of. You never have to forgive anyone, and you can never forgive someone who isn't truly sorry. I wouldn't even call it a grudge as you aren't maliciously holding on to resentment, she simply isn't sorry. My own stepmother attempted something like this at my granddad's funeral, I don't know what is wrong with people. Next story. Am I the a-hole for not buying my stepdaughter a phone when I bought one for my daughter? Me, 38 female, and my husband, 40 male, have been together for 8 years and married for 3. I have a daughter 17 and he has a daughter who is 15. When we agreed to begin living together and blending our families, we both agreed that we would not interfere with the other's parenting, and would try and be more like the fun aunt slash uncle than a parental figure. This works for us since we both get along well with our children's bio parents. Neither one of us wanted them to feel like their mom slash dad was being replaced. We also keep separate finances and each contribute to a joint account for household bills, and have our own personal accounts for our own child's expenses. Our kids get along well. They aren't best friends, but we have had no major issues that couldn't be resolved through talking it out. My daughter recently got her first job. Her father and I talked, and agreed to get her a new phone as a gift. We would each pay half the cost of the new phone and surprise her with it. I also told my husband what our plans were and he was fine with it. My ex ordered her a purple iPhone 11, and we surprised her with it yesterday. My stepdaughter threw an absolute fit when we came home and my daughter showed my husband her new phone. My husband is now saying that we should have gotten my daughter something different because my stepdaughter wanted this same phone, and was told she couldn't have it because they could not afford to get it for her. He said that it wasn't fair to make his daughter feel left out, and had he known, he would have asked me to get one for my stepdaughter too. I reminded my husband of our agreement, and told him that in no uncertain terms was I taking the phone away from my daughter. My stepdaughter isn't speaking to me or my daughter, and my husband is blaming me for the tension in our home. Am I the a-hole for not buying my stepdaughter a phone too? Edit, for everyone asking, neither I nor my daughter knew that my stepdaughter wanted this same phone until after she saw it. Had I known, I would have told my husband about it. Also, my stepdaughter has gotten things that my daughter has not, iPad and MacBook, and vice versa, and this has never happened before. Also, I love my stepdaughter like she is my own child. But she also has a mother who loves and cares for her very much and is a very important part of her life. Same with my daughter. My husband and I love both of our children and we are not trying to replace their parents, who do play a large role in their lives. That is why we decided to take on an aunt slash uncle role. This works for our family. I did talk to my stepdaughter's bio mom about this, her and I are friends and speak often, just like my husband and my daughter's father. Her mom is as shocked as we are and will be speaking to her about it to find out why she is so upset. 
Now for the top comments. I am going with not the a-hole. OP's daughter has a job and is 17. Stepdaughter does not and is 15. Stepdaughter needs to realize that you don't always get the same gift. Unless you and siblings are all under 10 and your grandma get you all a teddy bear that is the same but different colors. I didn't get the same gifts as my older sisters. Even my sisters who are 10 months apart still receive different gifts. The younger daughter is showing her immaturity, and needs to learn responsibility. Yep. I have three kids close in age. Eldest is almost 8 so now is getting to the stage where she gets some pricier things because she's not at risk of breaking them. Her little siblings gripe a bit, but accept the answer that she's older so she can handle having nicer drawing pens or whatever. So, your daughter is 17 and has a job, her real father paid half of the bill for the phone. And your stepdaughter thinks she deserves that same phone because? Spoiled kid. Not the a-hole. Or maybe she's just not thinking rationally. If the phone was something she really wanted, it's normal to get a bit jealous that your stepsister now has it. I'm sure deep down she doesn't actually think her stepsister's father should buy her such an expensive gift, but she's still maturing. Her bio parents both seem surprised at her reaction, so it seems like this is out of the ordinary for her. OP is not the a-hole for sure, but I think the 15-year-old isn't being cut any slack by people in this sub. Not the a-hole. You and your ex bought your daughter that phone. Your ex has not agreed to treat his child's stepsister as his own. The stepdaughter should not expect a phone from a stranger. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for returning to school and leaving my brother without a babysitter? For context, my school this year has both an online option for students and an in-person one. I am a senior. During October, we had a huge COVID spike in my town, we weren't affected by the first wave hardly at all, we got three cases and that was it and about seven kids at my school got the virus. Because of that, the school district decided to cancel all in-person learning for the rest of the semester. Flash forward to January, and our school reopens I decide to stay online because there are still a decent number of cases in my town and I don't want to risk it. My nephew who is 5, lives with us on a bi-weekly basis, and goes to a local preschool which is half day he goes in at 11 am, for the past 2 or 3 months. My family has been using me and my father as babysitters for him in the morning since I am home and everyone else is at work. On Tuesday and Thursdays, my father has dialysis so it's just me. Now we are approaching the final marking period, and case numbers in my town have gone down significantly and I want to go back for my final marking period as a high school student. This leaves my brother with no babysitter for his kid in the morning on Tuesday and Thursdays. He got upset with me and told me that I was screwing him over, because I don't want to watch his son. I had previously complained that watching his son made it hard for me to do classwork. I told him that I just wanted my final marking period in school to be in person. He says he can't afford babysitters, because most of the ones around our town have increased prices and shortened the number of kids they watch due to the pandemic. He even tried to tell me that I should pay for half of whatever babysitter he wants because I want to go back to school so bad. My mom shut this last one down, although I was never going to go through with that anyways. But honestly, as we are approaching March and the dawn of me returning to school, my brother still hasn't found a sitter. Although my nephew's great uncle has offered to watch him for $80 a day, this would only be on Tuesday and Thursdays. I feel like I may be the a-hole here because babysitting is expensive and my family is struggling financially at the moment. But I do want to see my friends and teachers again. Am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. None of this is your responsibility. Unfortunately, these are routine issues that parents face when having children. You're not the parent, so it's 100% not your problem. Thank you for the response. Not the a-hole. I'm genuinely shocked of what has been asked of you. He's not your child, it's not even your sibling. Your whole future could be messed up if you are not able to achieve your full potential at school. Go to school on Monday. Not the a-hole. Don't ever let anyone or anything get in the way of your education. Your brother is being selfish and should have known you wouldn't be staying home forever. Not the a-hole, you are not a free babysitting service, and your education come first. Your brother is acting overly entitled and he needs to figure out what to do as an adult and parent. If you are able to have some sense of normalcy for your last few months in high school, then you should. Also, look up the price per hour for babysitting or daycare in your area. Write up an invoice and tell your brother that if he wants your services moving forward, here is how much you will be charging, plus a surcharge for missing classes or impact on your school work. If she's feeling feisty, 
she can ask for back pay. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.